um, Father Sumit, who is a priest from the priestly fraternity of St. Peter. Um, Father, would you mind telling us a bit about the fraternity to start with? The priestly fraternity of St. Peter is a society of apostolic life founded under permission of John Paul II in 1988, so we're 25 years old this year. Yeah. And uh, we exist for the continuation of the traditions of the liturgy in the Catholic Church. So those traditions of the Mass being said in Latin, uh, which was codified in the Council of Trent in the 1570s. And the Society of Apostolic Life, we work within the diocese, we work within the church, and with the permission of Bishop Henry, we're here in Calgary. And so we try and keep a lot of the uh, liturgical traditions of the church continuing throughout the diocese and that people learn about what came before. And as uh, Pope Benedict XVI told us, that what was holy and sacred for those who came before us is holy and sacred for us as well. So we are promoters of these uh, old ways of doing things in the church. And, um, and we hope that these things, long may they continue in the church. Recently did something, speaking of old ways in the church, you recently did something quite spectacular. Do you want to tell us about that? Uh, was that climbing a mountain? Uh, I was like a Corpus Christi procession. Oh, sorry, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, uh, I climbed Mount Rundle in three hours, but it was pretty slow. and uh, So I'm trying to get it down to under three hours if I can next time. We'll see. I'm getting old. Anyway, so Corpus Christi procession, even more impressive. Um, Yes, so we wanted to do the Corpus Christi procession according to the way that it had been done for centuries, which is on the Thursday, as the Holy Father does Corpus Christi on the Thursday allotted to it, not on the weekend. So we had a procession of the Blessed Sacrament, and we built three altars around the neighborhood around uh, our church. And so to ensure that the weather would be good during a season when there's a lot of rain, we had a pre Corpus Christi uh, rosary procession to the Blessed Virgin Mary to invoke her that we get good weather and it rained the whole day but 20 minutes before the procession began the rain stopped the ground dried up and we went around the neighborhood all the way around St Anthony's Parish and the procession went for over an hour we had over 400 people nobody got wet and a lot of the neighbors was going wow what is this what is this thing it's amazing and so Christ the King went out amongst his subjects and all nature even paid their obeisance to the king as he walked about through his his subjects and so we were greatly blessed by God and uh, a lot of people were very very um, happy with the way that it went and we hope that next year it gets bigger and better and we hope to even get uh, priests of the diocese come along with us. Um, so is this your first one rock? This is my first one rock that is correct since I've only been in the, in the diocese nine months. <laughs> I'm having a good time. I'm hearing lots of confessions. It's great. What do you think of the concept of one rock? It has a place in the church. It has a necessary place in the church. So, you know, if we can get anything to get kids uh, loving God more, then, then we do it. You know, that's what we need to do. And it's not only young people, but everybody. We need to get people back where they ought to be. Thank you, Father. I'm just going to back up so that the people watching at home can see what a traditional precept would look like pre-1962 in confession.